New FAFSA forum causing delays. Yes, yeah, some students don't know how much financial aid they're going to get as they're faced with making decisions about what school they're going to attend. Today, Rhode Island Student Loan Authority held a FAFSA completion event. Our Lauren Brill joins us live in studio with the details students and families need to know. Lauren. Well, Kayla, Mike, the college admissions process is already a stressful time for many and delays with FAFSA could add to that stress. But the Rhode Island Student Loan Authority's College Planning Center tells us they're here to help. It's almost college decision time, a big choice for high school seniors, but a new application causing problems across the country and here in Rhode Island. We welcome everybody who's having problems with the FAFSA to come in to see us. We're going to have a few more open houses. Those at the Rhode Island Student Loan Authority's College Planning Center tell us they will service over 15,000 people this year, filling out about 4,000 FAFSA applications. Governor Dan McKee stresses the importance of filling out the form. This year is troubling because on the federal level, there's been some, some little uh, mix-ups, uh, which has delayed the process for a lot of our families in the state of Rhode Island. The form, usually available in October, did not come out until December 2023, and glitches and technical issues with the new system causing problems for many. The Department of Education issued an announcement earlier this month saying that they are in the final stages of form corrections. Some colleges have extended their deadlines, and a message on their admissions website, the University of Rhode Island, says they've begun to receive data from the Department of Education and are working hard to prepare financial awards. URI will be extending its deposit deadline to May 15, 2024. United States Undersecretary of Education James Caval says they understand it's been a rocky process. We know how important the FAFSA is in helping low and middle income students um, choose a college that is best going to serve their needs. And our overarching goal is to get the, FAF get the financial aid offers in their hands as quickly as possible. Now, if you're experiencing trouble with your application or have any questions, the Rhode Island Student Loan Authority says you can contact them or stop by in person and they'll answer any questions. You can find more information on WPRI.com. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.